for 12 years and we've never had a film from Q before. So when we saw this, we were just amazed. And so Leah, where are you, Leah? Why don't you just stand up and wait to everybody? Thank you so much for that film. And uh, Leah, she just wanted everybody to know that she's gonna stick around for the party and she would love to discuss or anything else you want to talk to her about. So thank you so much for that. What's next? What's next? What's next? Well, we're gonna have a party, so stick around. So Fighter X, if you're into like video games and and he's an 8-bit electronic musician, and so it's gonna be this really amazing show that like nothing you've ever seen before. And then after that, we have Jensen, electronic music. So it's gonna be a dance party. We're gonna get rid of all of these chairs and we're all gonna be like dancing all night, believe me. Thanks again for interviewing with me again, Melinda. Not a problem, Janet. It's great to interview with you. And my name is Melinda Rabine, and some of you might have known by watching Janet's channel that she was one of the first people to come and interview me about my film Asylum, which looks at mental trauma brought on by domestic violence. And we are just fortunate that now we are done filming. We are done with post-production, which means editing. And we have sent it off to the film festivals. So we're waiting to hear back from the film festivals to find out what festivals that we got in. Our fingers are crossed. And I am so grateful for my team, my crew, my cast and crew who's worked so hard and really put themselves into my project and um, gave me not only amazing um, work, but they put their heart into it, and I feel like I developed an extended family. So thanks for everyone for being a part of the Asylum team. I'll keep you posted on what festivals we get in. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How have you been up to for the last year? Oh my. Um, too long and involved to explain. Well, thank you for always supporting me. Yeah. Uh, Step and everything else. I mean, you guys are our number one. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. We love coming to this. We come with our, our our pads for the seats. Nice. Because we go for the entire thing. We start in the morning. And, well, we have a tendency to kind of leave a little bit before the party starts. But it's just it's a wonderful thing to do there's so many good movies we were with watching this last one about the commodore 64 getting such a kick out of it we can remember going to the minnesota state fair in 1973 and seeing hong for the first time and i know and being absolutely amazed by it and when you look at the Comic Core 64 and then where we are now, it's just it's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you for interviewing me and I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Oh that's really nice. Thanks a lot. Okay, see ya. See you later. We're going to our best short film award for uh, Tech Talk Fest. Um, this award, we, 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 we love this film. We're, we're really impressed by the filmmaker and the tenacity that they put into making like this because we understand the process of documentary film. And oftentimes you shoot hundreds and hundreds of hours of terror footage and you have to scintillate that down into a relatively small package. Um, and this, this is a prime, and it's also a prime example of the fact that technique can be done in a way that is is the boldest way, and that's just hand to hand talking to someone of you. Imagine that having a conversation with another human being, exchanging ideas, and this film is a perfect example of, of exactly what that is. Song goes to El Paquet. <laughs> My name is Melinda Rabine, and some of you might have known by watching Janet's channel that she was one of the first people to come and interview me about my film Asylum, which looks at mental trauma brought on by domestic violence. And we are just fortunate that now we are done filming. We are done with post-production, which means editing, and we have sent it off to the film festivals. So we're waiting to hear back from the film festivals to find out what festivals that we got in. Our fingers are crossed, and I'm so grateful for my team, my crew, my cast and crew who's worked
worked so hard and really put themselves into my project and um, gave me not only a me. We had a home or our transmedia project. So you guys, I noticed you guys were kind of uh, messing around with the gear and what we wanted to do is we want to show. Yeah, we have, uh, I'll read the first part and you can read the second part maybe. Um, so first we have these two really incredible fans that ever since before I started coming to Stiff, they've been coming to Stiff. They buy the passes every year. Uh, they come to films every single day. Uh, Bill and Lisa Kuhn, we have a long time to like, go through all of them, but some of our key volunteers that came and worked in the theaters. And so Wendy Gonzalez, who she loves. He's our, our audio tech guy, and he's probably mm -hmm. working in the galley, so we have a sound system. Oh, uh, Mark Carr, he was the tour guide for the Oculus Rift. Yeah. Yeah. Good job, Mark. Uh, Worthington, Alex Willis, um, Arlene DeCarowy, uh, Dylan Hopper, Jessica Z. She's been shooting all of our stuff. We appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Uh, Naratha, we had a, an intern uh, contact us this year from Bali, uh, in town, uh, going to school. And so, yeah, he came and worked on it, did some office work for us. Uh, Michelle Locke, Phil, uh, Amberex, Susan Johnson. Stiff, and I, I love the heart and the spirit and the soul of this festival. Um, and I'd like to, to dedicate this award to all the men and women, and especially children in Bahrain, who are still um, in prison, have been tortured, um, have been killed, lost family members, um, fighting for their freedom, for their democracy, and for basic human rights. And I just thank Stiff so much for, um, for giving me the opportunity to have their stories be told. So, thank you. Uh, where where can we see this this film? Uh, the next screening in Seattle will be at the end of August at the Seattle Arab Fest, um, and there'll be other screenings. Uh, we're, we're, I mean, it just premiered. Uh, Witnessbahrain.com um, is the website, and if folks want to get screenings, then contact me afterwards, and um, and we'll make that happen. And now let's uh, let's watch the trailer. So. <laughs> Humans fall a piece of new dream called the Close Pictures. So that is my move it on Seattle Community Media, archive.org, and now on YouTube. To find an idea because the thing was a little bit tough 
to begin to. And um... <laughs> her small audience. Um, so let's see. Minute Movies is we meet monthly at Seattle Film Institute, and every month we have a different theme. Um, and spinning wheel of transmedia minute movie um, that you'll see in this first film. Yeah. Which, like, film is a man on the street interviews and asks people what comes to mind when you hear the word media, or whatever the theme is for the month. Or, or just kind of yeah. Because the filmmakers are. So, yes. And what's yours? Is it? Are they all mine's, just called medium? Medias? Medium? Um, no, mine's mixed media. It's the last one. The theme for this week for the special minute movie edition of at Stiff. Okay. Any thoughts? Um, well, I had I had different thoughts about it uh, when I went into it, but I was thinking. Um, you know, just the, the barrage of media and like kind of a... a Here you go, let's play it! This documentary here at Stiff in 2011. Henry and Hiram here somewhere. on whatever their interpretation of that theme is. And then we screen the films at Seattle Film Institute on the third Sunday of every month. Well, and thank you for yeah. doing this at Stiff. It's just yeah. so wonderful. Just be fair, okay? Uh, well, we're definitely going to let up drink alcohol, but that's pretty much it. <laughs> that's, that's our maturity level. Yeah, I had, I had a ton of fun this year. This has really been, for whatever reason, the, like, the most fun year I've ever had. I, I love hanging out here in the U District. Uh, the theaters we have were all, all like really amazing. The gallery, yeah, yeah. The gallery space was so great having a space to kind of hang out, headquarters, all that stuff. Hopefully, most of you had a chance to try out uh, the Digipen Game Gallery, the Oculus Rift. Yeah. <laughs> a few months. Uh, we've always been, you know, just kind of a once a year festival. This last year, you know, we had, uh, kind of experimented with doing uh, off season like panels and educational program, and we've decided to launch several new mini festivals throughout the year. It's like if you made it to Cartoons and Bloody Marys this morning, we had a really good time. You, along with your ticket, you get a, a nice uh, Bloody Mary, and we saw some animated films that are mostly made for adults. That's going to be like its own festival, so uh, keep an eye out for that. Into who's, Penetration. Who's, yeah. Who's yeah. Also, it's going to be its own festival unto itself, so start creating really sick and twisted films now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're, we're, we're gonna, we're basically going to parcel out a bunch of different festivals throughout the year so that we can become more of a year-round presence as opposed to a, oh my god, it's stiff time, you know, and, and I think that happens with a lot of us, it happens to me, um, and so it's, uh, I think we feel important about, uh, or feel, feel it is important to actually get stiff as a uh, uh, year-round presence on your minds, we want to stamp the forehead of, of your consciousness with <coughs> stiff all year round and uh, that's what we plan to do much cool deal but we, we've grown to the point where we have to actually like write it down yeah, so, yeah we have uh, I'll read the first part and you can read the second part maybe um, so first we have these two really incredible fans that ever since before I started coming to stiff they've been coming to stiff they buy the passes every year uh, they come to films every single day uh, Bill and Lisa Kuhn we time to like go through all of them but some of our key volunteers that came and worked in the theaters and so Wendy Gonzalez who she yeah. 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 Um, Lee Dancy he's our, our audio tech guy and he's probably yeah. working in the alley so we have a sound system yeah. 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 Uh, Mark Carr he was the tour guide for the Oculus Rift yeah. Yeah. Worthington Alex Willis um, Arlene DeCarrowy, uh, Dylan Hopper, Jessica Z, she's been shooting all of our stuff. We appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. They tell you to work and die. Uh, Matt Harrison. Uh, Naratha, we had a, an intern uh, contact us this year from Bali uh, in town uh, going to school. And so, yeah, he came and worked on it and did some office work for us. Uh, Michelle Locke, Phil, 
uh, Amber X, Susan Johnson. Stiff and I, I love the heart and the spirit and the soul of this festival. Um, and I'd like to, to dedicate this award to all the men and women, and especially children in Bahrain who are still um, in prison, have been tortured, um, have been killed, lost family members, um, fighting for their freedom, for their democracy, and for basic human rights. And I just thank Stiff so much for, um, for giving me the opportunity to have their stories be told. So, thank you. Uh, where where can we see this this film? Uh, the next screening in Seattle will be at the end of August at the Seattle Arab Fest, um, and there'll be other screenings. Uh, we're, we're, I mean, it just premiered. Uh, Witnessbahrain.com um, is the website, and if folks want to get screenings, then contact me afterwards, and um, and we'll make that happen. And now let's uh, let's watch the trailer. So thank you Thanks. so much. It's been a long haul, and um, I. People seem to like the film, which, you know, after eight years, you're like, what are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it seems to uh, be getting a good audience, so we're very happy. Thank you. It was actually a, a documentary that kind of cemented my relationship. Uh, with Steph, uh, Clint Berquist, uh, one of the guys who started the festival, did uh, a film called uh, the Seattle yeah. Comedy Documentary about a comedy collective. That seeing that film and that piece. Then I can take my glasses off.